What do you do when you get into a rehearsal or a shooting situation where you really disagree with what's being proposed? When do you fight? When do you give in? When do you accommodate? It's so it, it all it depends. The thing it's a collaborative art form, but when when we're doing a project, the frustrating thing is that we may be there as an actor, but it's someone else's project. That's the worst. When you come across something that's just oh, it's not right, and but you're the actor and it's someone else's project. And so you have a couple of options. One is you leave the project, and the other is you know you say what you for you say respectfully. Uh, and clearly why you think it's a, something is a problem and what you think the solution might be. Um, and in general, I found that if it's possible to do it in first in a private setting so that somebody isn't embarrassed, especially if it's sensitive, um, and then the most volatile place to do it is in front of everybody. But because sometimes that happens just because that's when you discover it. But Oftentimes that, 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 that won't work because people will dig their heels in. And that's really, really tough. Um, have you ever done it? I have done it, mostly out of being surprised, like, I f like feeling surprised on set and go, what? The world's going to fall apart. My, like the character, for my character, this is not going to make. And um, mostly by the time you're on set, you lose those ones as an actor. Right. Yeah, Have you ever quit a theater show? Not once we started rehearsal. But I have, in workshop, I've gone workshop with shows and then not continued. But I've never walked off a show. Because we get kind of hounded, I mean, actors get kind of hounded that, ooh, they're difficult to work with. And we, yeah, you instinctually, don't, you don't want that out there. You don't oh, want that, that out there Oh, that Robert guy, he's, he's difficult. Yeah. I mean, work is tenuous enough without that floating Yeah, I know it's really, really tough when that happens. Yeah. And, and um, what a lot of people will do, and I've done it too, like where you kind of go, this is not the fight that I can, this is not a fight I can win. Um, like sometimes you can assess a situation really quickly and go, this is not a fight I can win, and I'm just going to have to suck it up, and you suck it up, and then you go home and you cry. Do you have any defensive moves? I'm thinking mainly on set. Some actors have defensive moves. Like what? Um, okay, they say to the director, give me the line reading. The director gives them the line reading, and you do exactly that reading. And they usually hate it, because they don't can act. Oh, that's a good one. They're dirty, they're dirty defensive moves you can <laughs> use, or, you know. Um, sorry, I don't mean dirty defensive moves, but they're de kind of desperate. Yeah. When the power balance just gets so, the power gets so out of whack, you go, oh, oh, why am I here? You know, if you yeah. don't need to create anything. Can you raise your head on this line and look at Gene when you say that word? So, yeah. where do you go when you get that sort of direction? Well, sometimes, um, sometimes there's a reason for it and you just kind of go, okay, you want to, like, the more you know about the other ask other the, the reasons why they might ask that, the, the, the better equipped you are to either deliver that and know that it's the right thing. Right. Or to anticipate that um, request. But, but what I find really difficult on set, um, especially when we have young directors um, who are trying to prove themselves, where they give you, start giving you direction before you've even done it. Or they start giving you too much direction when you're still blocking it and you're still figuring out what's happening in the scene and how you're going to do it. I've actually found my best defensive move as a lead, and I can't do this on other sets, but as, as a number two on Kim's Convenience, I can take a director aside and say, you know, you'll get better results if you don't give us any notes for the first three takes. That's good. Well, because it's true, because we're still working stuff out. Um, and a lot of young directors need to know that and they're kind of relieved because they don't understand they don't understand like there, there's some directors who will say do it like that but more this do it like that more that and they come each time with a different direction like we're radio and it doesn't work that way we just end up with too much information and then you'll see an actor melt down like go I can't cope like what you want you know we've seen any any actor look there's a hilarious 
hilarious YouTube video of Lillian Hellman having a full out temper tantrum after being told, you know, all these different ways to handle these different props. But my, my, my on Kim's, my, my big thing is I've actually, as much as possible, especially when there's props involved, to tell the director, you have to give me three takes to work out the props. I'm still working out the props. Don't, don't, I don't want any, don't give me any notes until I got, let me do the props first. Let me do the props! <laughs> right? Um, yeah, but that's because you're number two. Right? Yeah. What does an actor do if they're number 45 or 206? Uh, well, sometimes, that's why, that's why Paul and I try to really set a, okay, a right. warm, because, because if you're relaxed and you feel supported, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes if Paul and I are on set, we'll see some other actor with something like that, we'll actually go. She's still working out the props. <laughs> it's almost always with props. It's like, don't give an actor notes until they've choreographed the props. Because otherwise, it doesn't matter. Like, you can shoot it. It might look great to so you. So you don't have, you don't have, um... But then in the fourth take, Donna, will, our continuity person, will come out and say, you picked it up with the number third, the third can was your right hand, and the fourth can was with your left hand, and then you did this. And I'm going... You know, like, that's, that's, an, that's when it gets hard.